What's going on everybody? Brandon Charleston here coming at you with another quick tutorial and updates when it comes to AI automation and all the things. So uh, in this video I'm going to show you some updates that NA10 has recently rolled out because they've been fire. Uh, there's definitely a lot of uh, hype around things uh, when it comes to uh, their updates. So uh, pretty exciting stuff. I'm going to go over a little bit of things on how to use it so you can get your creative juices flowing as far as how to navigate data with all things AI and automation. So let's go ahead and dive in. So uh, if you don't already go to their recently uh, released on their GitHub, uh, when it comes to things, they're obviously releasing things uh, pretty frequently. I mean, it's like at least once a week, uh, maybe even every day. So um, just this past Friday, they uh, and now it's Monday, uh, they released uh, and announced also a lot of uh, quick really good updates uh, in terms of customization, uh, chatbot improvements, um, any sort of a lot of flexibilities when it comes to just being able to deliver very creative and complex workflows and also organizing uh, when it comes to because you know if you ever dive into N810 you basically get a blank canvas you can have a lot of messes and spaghetti bowls all over the place so We'll cover that in a second, uh, but essentially uh, they've done a ton of bug fixes. So if you're encountering any sort of these bugs, uh, bugs, they have potentially fixed it. So it's worth you know going into the link to see if you're encountering any sort of these uh, bottlenecks and and bugs and things like that. Uh, they've been definitely working hard on that. So. And then the other thing too is you can see a number of features that have been introduced and also improved. And so one of the things uh, that I'm pretty pumped about is uh, the chat trigger node um, that you can customize the form as well as you can make a chatbot public, you can do it embedded, that sort of thing. There's a lot of customizations that just makes uh, things a lot easier uh, when it comes to you know full workflows from front end all the way uh, to back end and also uh, responding to the initial chat about whatever that might be um, and so yeah let's go ahead and dive in so the first thing um, and I already have a form here but basically let's say you have a contact us form let's say you have a get in touch you know anything on your website a lot of times you can just trigger that for a webhook or a form submission and then what will happen is uh, you can actually customize this a whole lot more so the default one they had was um, let's see if it'll bring it up chat let's see here we're gonna go ahead and bring up the default one and we're gonna turn this one off and we are going to say contact us uh, we will all right and what is your name okay and then we'll also do required field but you can see here there's a couple of things that you know the form is pretty standard and so essentially uh, it's an orange button so usually you know if your website is not orange and white then um, you know you can tell it's kind of not going with the the UI UX feel right the natural uh, ways and so the other thing too is while NAN is wonderful and great and definitely one of my favorite platforms uh, basically it's branding you know obviously if you're uh, wanting to keep it clean uh, and no logos and things like that uh, you can definitely turn that off as well so you'll notice here if you go to add option you just go to append n8n attribution and you just go and turn that off and then you'll see that it's now just a clean form so the other thing too is um, you let me just turn off this trigger here and we'll turn this off is the ability I just created another form just for an example uh, but what you can do is you can actually make elements uh, custom uh, when it comes to HTML so you can do custom HTML right here and you can basically you know bring up something like grok and say um, you know we'll we'll just take a screenshot of this I'm kinda going off on a whim here but we're gonna say we're creating We, I'm going to paste this. We are creating an n 8 form and they now have custom HTML elements. Come up with a short terms of service or agreement that is extremely short. We don't want to go too long. And uh, we will paste that. There we go. This works. Let's see if this does anything. All right, and this can get obviously pretty uh, 
pretty lengthy here, but the other thing too that you'll notice is um, content. Let's see here. What is your name? Okay. All right. Enable. Oh, I need to enable it. Duh. Okay. I will deactivate that. All right, so um, we have our form. You know, you could put any fields you want in it. There's a number of different uh, things you can select. You know, it can be a drop down, like I agree, I disagree. It could be multiple choice. You can do a password. You can do a whole lot of customizations when it comes to uh, the form. But the cool thing too is you can actually embed custom HTML, and so really you can get a whole lot more creative. You can put logos and things. Um, you can make it very stylized. You know, in, in that regard. So the other thing too uh, that's really cool is the custom form styling. So you can see right here, I already went ahead and pasted some HTML, but it's going to come with it. But all I wanted to do, you saw the old form where you know it has orange buttons. So I can just you know simply change the button to blue, or you can really make it uh, pretty snazzy. Let's say you're doing. Um, well, we're almost at St. Patrick's Day, right? In March, um, you can like make a green theme. Uh, if you're doing, you know, later this year, like uh, Halloween or Christmas, you can do all sorts of uh, types of themes to really match, you know, your flavor, right? And so uh, if we just do test setup right here, you can see right here that uh, this was already polished a lot more and that we have now have a blue button. And so this one didn't have the uh, attribution, which is turned on, but if I did it again, you can see that it's a nice, just clean form, you know, blue button instead of orange, Not, nothing against the orange, but uh, it's a lot, it's a lot more polished, right? So improvements there, uh, definitely encourage you to check that out, you know, and let your creative, uh, you know, creative mind uh, go, go forth, right? The other thing too, uh, that's pretty cool, is uh, when it comes to the chatbots. So they actually enabled some features when it comes to the chatbot, uh, being able to make it public. Uh, you can make it publicly available, right? So this wasn't here before because otherwise you would just do this user interface and say, you can just do that, right? And this is a Grok one. Um, you can just, you know, Grok doesn't have their Grok 3 API yet, but if you are wanting to use Grok, all you got to do is just go into add your credentials um, and then you just type in you know the LLM uh, when it comes to their API. So when they enable Grok 3, uh, you can connect through the OpenAI API and then you just uh, change the base URL and then um, you'll be able to work it from there, right? So um, the cool thing too is like as I mentioned before, we'll make it publicly available. And then you can also uh, customize the crap out of this. So you can do a hosted chat and you can also do an embedded chat, uh, like through a widget or any sort of thing like inside, you know, like a chat bot or something like that. Uh, hosted chat, um, we can do an authentication, but we can say, hello, my name is Brandon. How can I assist you today? We can add a number of different properties, uh, like allow file uploads, response mode, require click a button, uh, chat styling. There's just a whole lot of things. So you can really put some personality. Uh, and so we'll just test chat right now. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll, you guys got to turn it on in order to uh, make it live. And so we are going to turn it on and we're just going to open a new tab. And here we are. So there it is. Be like, hello, uh, what is your name? And it's going to say I'm Grok because. I, you know, it's Grok. I didn't give it a custom instructions here. But you can see this is a star. Now, obviously, this is a really bad looking chatbot, but you can customize the bubbles. You could embed it. You can make a, you know, widget. This is essentially a chatbot. And then when it comes down to um, doing any sort of rag, you know, any sort of um, database where you need to ground it uh, and make sure that, you know, it's not hallucinating or giving you any sort of crazy answers because obviously like a trained employee right you want them you want them trained you want to give them only right answers uh, because if they if they mess you up you know your policies procedures then things are just going to go south right so uh so yeah that is that when it comes to the chatbot now the last thing i wanted to cover too you know basically uh, i purposely did this this is a uh, spaghetti bowl of a workflow um, and this is one of the sentiment analysis AI agents uh, that uh, that I've programmed here. Just being able to make decisions and push things uh, a lot 
push data where we need to go, right? And so there's a little button right here that you'll notice that says tidy up. So all you're gonna do is just press it and boom, your workflow is organized. So you can just sit there and just make nodes. You know, you don't have to worry about spacing and all that kind of thing. Uh, so that way, you know, when I'm trying to explain what's going on, that you're actually going to be able to flow with things, right? And so uh, that's pretty much it. Just at the click of a button, you know, you can do a tidy up. And so with that, um, that's the new features, at least the ones that I wanted to highlight. There's definitely a lot of other things too, uh, which get it pretty complex and stuff like that. Uh, but N810 is definitely uh, rolling out some amazing updates, doing a lot of uh, customizations and enterprise level kind of agents uh, or with different use cases. And so uh, if you wanna work with us, uh, just reach out. Uh, it'll be in the description below. Uh, we do a number of different things when it comes to N810, Clay, uh, all things AI, AI and automation. So. With that, I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe. It would be wonderful. I would love to have you around. Thanks so much. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Cheers.